Hello everyone, welcome to Thermodynamics Practice Problem Part 6 and as you know it is very very important topic and we are solving many questions, practicing many concepts in this topic in current times also in times to come. So keep learning and remember that each and every question which has been discussed here is very useful for you. So let's see this question. When two moles of an ideal gas and uh, CPM, what is CPM? CPM is called molar heat capacity so it's a molar heat capacity at constant pressure cp means constant pressure the same thing can be given at constant volume as well the question is find out entropy change delta s temperature is modified so we can use direct formula but i want to revise the whole approach once i can use the direct formula and get the answer right away but we can just revise it a little bit and we can see what will happen so we write dq is equal to du plus pdv dq is equal to du plus pdv now if you just proceed further if you write dq is this so what is dq we say n like you can say nc dt in a way right and we can write here uh, in, in this case we can mention du plus pdv okay now you can do one thing you can just divide it by t so what is this dq over t will be dq over t can be written as ds right this is basically ds great so what is ds equal to ds is equal to d of u plus p dv upon t okay why right so d u upon t plus p dv upon t what is du so du we can write n c v dt upon t and this is p dv upon t we can put it like this so once you put all these informations properly see integration of ds will be integration at these places so if you see the value temperature is t1 to t2 here and if you see the other part the second part this p so can i say this p we can write in terms of because p is constant right but p is constant that's okay but we are talking about a general case so we are writing ideal gas scenario so what we can write it is ncv ln of t2 by t1 plus rt upon v t dv integral v1 to v2 okay or we can say nrt of this so it becomes n c v ln t2 by t1 plus nr ln v2 by v1 is delta s now this result which we have written here is a general result okay because in this case i am not taking any assumption it's for reversible process it's a general result and what are different outcomes of this result so we can discuss different outcomes of this result so i'm just discussing and bringing it here so let me just draw it like this and let's bring it here so case number one could be adiabatic if it is adiabatic what will happen so in adiabatic case dq itself is zero so ds has to be zero you know that case number two case number two if it is isothermal so if it is isothermal case we know in isothermal case t1 and t2 are same hence delta s is equal to how much it is nr ln v2 by v1 next could be case of see we can isochoric case isochoric means volume is constant so delta s can be written as see v1 is equal to v2 so dot is delta s it is written as ncv ln t2 upon t1 next is the current question the current question is constant pressure so when pressure is constant okay we can say when pressure is constant we can do one thing we can write it as delta s is equal to n c v ln t2 by t1 plus n r ln now remember at constant pressure v is proportional to t do you agree with this thing or not at constant pressure v is proportional to t so n r ln v2 by v1 is how much n r ln t2 by t1 do you get this point i repeat once again at constant pressure v is proportional to t so I'm talking about now isobaric case or the case which is this question representing in this particular question what is being represented this thing is being represented so if you use this thing delta s is ncv ln t2 by t1 plus nr ln t2 by t1 if you use this data it becomes ncv plus nr ln t2 by t1 which is n times cv plus r ln t2 by t1 
and what is CV plus R? So delta S is N C P L N T2 by T1, which is given in the question directly. So this is the complete derivation we have discussed, though we can solve directly using this formula, I would have solved. But I like like whether we should discuss this thing in detail for detail me karli hamne se. Now just come to the question. The question is you have given two moles, so n is equal to two moles, and you are solving this question which is delta s. So what is the value? Delta s is n C P L N T2 by T1. So delta s kitna aagya? Delta s aagya n times C P times L N of T2 by T1. What is n? Two moles. How much is C P? C P is given as uh, yeah five by two r. ln of t2 by t1 which is 600 divided by 300 so where is the final answer it becomes 5 r ln 2 so any such answer is given you can mark this answer look at this so we have this option number c which is representing 5 r ln 2 and that becomes the right answer i hope you understood the complete concept it's not about solving one question see our aim is not to just solve this question hamara aim hai ki hum aise kaise bhi questions aa jaye hum isko solve kar sake that's right So I hope you are loving these videos keep liking subscribing and sharing thank you very much